Hey, so it's been a while since we've done a story time and also a get ready with me because I never have anywhere to go and I'm never doing anything and I don't wear makeup, but I've had a pretty rough go the last few days. I thought I would talk about it and also do my makeup. Please ignore the whining dog in the background. Bruce, you're fine. He's fine. So the reason I'm doing my makeup today is because I've actually been on vacation from work. I had a week off work and I was planning to actually go visit my nephews and babysit them for a week while their parents went on a trip. But my family and I cannot currently reach each other due to all the flooding that's happening in the Fraser Valley. So trip was canceled, the babysitting week was canceled. So now I'm just sitting at home for a week doing nothing. But it hasn't been totally fruitless because Jeremy and I found a new place to live that happened in the last few days which was very exciting and so we signed the, the tenancy agreement for that and there's a little bit of stress involved but you know it is what it is but overall that was good I also had my mom come visit me for a day which was nice so it's been a stressful couple of months as I've mentioned, because we were evicted, and then there's some other personal things going on, which I'm gonna get into again later. Also, it just happens to be, you know, the holidays are coming up, and Jeremy's birthday, which happens to be December 1st. <laughs> and a long way back, we, not a long way back, we've only been together like a year and a half, but when we first started dating, we kind of came to the agreement, our understanding that we weren't really gonna do birthday presents because we just think it's silly to get birthday presents for each other and it just adds to all the gifts you're giving to people all the time and we're just more minimalist in that way and um, prefer to do nice things throughout the year and not just make a big deal of birthdays and stuff. I'm to, to really clarify though like I am not a birthday person. Comment below if you can relate to that. I just I don't like the attention. I am an introvert at heart like I really am I do like my alone time and I just don't love the idea of like having plans and making a big deal and I don't know it just it's like overwhelming to me birthday stuff so I don't like doing anything and last year for my birthday um Jeremy of course wanted to do something for me so he, I told him that I just wanted to like get a bunch of donuts and just eat donuts at home and that's what he got me donuts and that's what I did. I ate them. So that was it. So I sometimes feel a lot of pressure for other people on their birthday, especially if I know they're really into their birthday because I just feel like a little overwhelmed, like I can't relate because I'm so not like that. But I'm also in my um, life because I'm so organized in type A and love to plan things I've actually planned a lot of birthday parties and I love surprises I love surprise parties surprises for anything like I just like the holidays or birthdays solely for the fact that you can surprise somebody with something like a gift or like a party or whatever like that so I like planning surprises I don't necessarily I do not want a surprise party <laughs> that's for sure okay so I just um use some toner and then I put on some moisturizer and now I'm going to put on some primer. I have two kinds of primers, one to get the red out of my face and one to like cover up everything. I also this week got this strange scratch on my nose. I think I probably did it to myself. Um, no, we Nobody knows where it came from but it, I've been looking at that all week which was is fun. And then I also have this like nice like unicorn pimple coming out of my forehead because as we've talked about before you get to your 30s and you have wrinkles and pimples how cool is that anyway so for Jeremy's birthday last year it was COVID well it's, we're still in COVID but last year we couldn't do anything because of COVID so it was online we did it last year and it was really good he, I had a few of his friends help me out we planned like a bunch of surprises we had like a big zoom party but there was like lots of fun stuff that happened throughout the party and he just had a total blast and it was a surprise and that was really cool. This year, we're allowed to go out 
And so a month ago, I told him, don't you worry, I'm going to take care of your birthday. <laughs> I will organize it. I will send out a, a Facebook event just to make sure everybody saves the date because it gets busy around this time of year. And like his biggest thing is like he just wants to celebrate with all his friends. He wants to be in the same room with all his friends. He has lots of friends. He's very social. He's always like making plans with his friends. He's very extroverted and he has a lot of yeah, he just, he, that's what he wants to do. He just wants to be around his friends. So, okay, uh, sorry, my battery died. Anyways, um, I'm gonna put on this other primer now to cover up this weird scratch on my nose. So I told Jeremy that I would take care of his birthday planning, create a Facebook group. I invited everybody a month in advance so that they could save the date because his birthday is December 1st and that's when all the holiday parties start and people get busy with family stuff. And so I wanted to make sure everybody would be available because this would be the year we could all be together. And so, and I'm very good at organizing stuff. So I felt very confident. And Jeremy asked me a couple of times, he's like, are you sure? that you wanna do this, I don't mind planning stuff. And like in the past, other partners that I've had, I've always been the one to plan and organize things for all my friends' birthdays for everything. So I'm not used to someone else wanting to plan their own thing. And I was just like, no, 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 I'll do it, I'll do it. I don't want you to have to feel like you have to plan your own birthday. Anyways, I'm just putting on my concealer now. I don't put on a lot. Is this a lot? I don't know if this is a lot. I don't, I don't wear makeup like ever during the week or my life really. So anyways, I'm trying to make myself feel better. So I made the Facebook event, invited everybody, confirmed to make sure everybody got the uh, invitation. People that don't have Facebook, I was like, make sure you send this to your, to friends or partners that might not have this. And kind of like, was like, okay, I, check I've done that and just started focusing on other things and so in the same month leading up to now we of course got the information that we were getting kicked out and I spent a large portion of time in the last few weeks just just constantly scrolling Facebook marketplace and Craigslist for available apartments that would work for us to move into and yeah then of course there was the floods that happened and that was a big big deal and it still is a big deal and lots is going on with that and my siblings live in um, the Fraser Valley and have been under like a lot of stress because their houses you know might potentially flood so it's just our family's been really busy and a lot's been going on and me and Jeremy the same so as well my grandpa went for surgery a few days ago and we my mom had planned to be there for him um, and my grandma, but they also live on the other side of the Coquihalla, which has completely collapsed, the Coquihalla Highway. And we were also all planning to go to my grandma's for Christmas this year, the first time we were going to be together in like two years. Of course, we can't go to that either because the Coquihalla Highway has collapsed and we can't get to anybody. So there's all that's happening. So those are all my excuses, but not really. It's just kind of like laying down like the mind frame that I have been in in the past like three weeks. So... The other night, I can't quite cover that up. I'm not like a magician. It's fine. It's good enough. So the night before Jeremy's birthday was a Tuesday. Tuesday of this week. It wasn't that long ago. And I planned that day to just, like he cooks all the time. That's what he does. So he does all the grocery shopping. That's the trade-off. I do a lot of like the household chores, cleaning and things like that. So on the day of his birthday, I got up early and I wanted to cook him breakfast, make his lunch. I was ordering food for us to have for dinner and we had already planned to watch wrestling because that's like what we do every Wednesday. And I spent the day that day when he went to work baking a birthday cake. And I'm not somebody who cooks and I'm not somebody who bakes. So it's a big undertaking for me to bake an entire birthday cake from scratch. And I don't do it often. I literally did it a year ago for his birthday last year. And I made him an Oreo birthday cake but it's the birthday cake oreos that the when the in the middle of the oreo is like birthday cake flavoring and i use those oreos to make an oreo birthday cake and it's very decadent i do like a chocolate ganache which is just really melted chocolate 
buttercream frosting, everything from scratch. So, so I was really focused on that and getting the ingredients coming up to that. And so on the day of his birthday, he goes to work. I've made him breakfast, packed his lunch, and I'm baking his cake. He comes home. We just have a couple friends come over to play some like card games. We have cake and just in conversation, we bring up, cause it wasn't a surprise that we were gonna go out for his birthday. I just did like a translucent powder to set my concealer and now I'm just gonna put some bronzer on because I have like an olive -y skin tone and I just find that just a little bronzer makes everything look a little more natural. I don't know what I'm doing, who cares? So in the conversation, the friends are just like, so like we're looking forward to going out on Saturday. Basically Jeremy said, oh yeah, maybe you should con Confirm the reservations and like how many people have confirmed they're coming and I looked at him like a complete like I don't even know how to explain it I dumbfounded and I was like reservations because for some reason in my mind I just imagined we're all going to this bar we're all just meeting there there's gonna be endless amounts of space and who makes reservations at a bar and maybe it's just my small town thinking because I'm originally from Chilliwack and like now I live in Vancouver that I just imagine we could all just go to the bar I just never crossed my mind to actually make a reservation and uh, Jeremy saw the, the confusion in my <laughs> eyes and then I started to see the panic in his eyes because he realized I hadn't made a reservation. So now I'm going to put on like a nude eyeliner on the, the whites of my eye on the waterline. Right there. And it just brightens up your whole... Just brightens up your eyes. <sighs> okay, I'm going to do some eyeshadow. I... I like to do my eyeshadow. Ooh. I like to do my eyeshadow and then my eyebrows and then my eyeliner last. So Jeremy's like, you didn't make a reservation. And I was like, oh my gosh. And he he already, I could tell in the look in his eyes, he knew that he knew that this was not gonna end well. I was in panic mode and also like in defiant mode of like I didn't just completely ruin his birthday no 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 it's all gonna be fine I'm just taking a fluffy brush and I'm gonna, I mean I want to do like gold eyeshadow because it's just something I never do and why not and so I'm just putting I'm dusting with like kind of a pinky color just to cover my whole eyelid like a nude color yes and anyway so I was like, don't worry, don't worry. And this is already at 11 o'clock at night, Wednesday night. And our we're supposed to be going out Saturday night. So I, we go to bed and I'm literally lying awake in bed. He's fallen asleep and I start like, I open up my phone and I look up the place that we're going to. And of course you can make reservations there. Um, and it's a big party, 15 to 20 people. So my, I'm just like in delusion land thinking that this is going to be okay. So I email them at like midnight and then I called them the next day and of course they're completely booked up for Saturday but they said you can try your luck walking in and I got that email back on Thursday morning Jeremy had already gone to work and proceeded to just my heart sank as I realized like I had really messed up Basically, it's it's a fuck up. I fucked up like real bad. I've never in my and I think this is the first time I've really dropped a ball this intensely. I just am, I just haven't done this kind of thing before where I forgot to make a reservation. I forgot to plan something. I'm very organized usually. Okay, I'm gonna take another brush and do like more of this brown bronzy color. So. The next thing I do is I just call my mom because I need to talk to somebody about what's happened. I'm not ready to tell Jeremy this information, even though I'm sure he already assumed. 
So I called my mom and as I'm talking to her and she's, and she's from a smaller town, she's kind of like, well, can't you just make reservations at another place? And like, the whole point was that this was a place he really wanted to go to. He's been there for his birthday a couple years in a row now, not last year because of COVID, but the years before. And he was really looking forward to being able to go back this year. So as my mom's talking to me, I just burst into tears. And then that's like three, two, one. Now I'm having a meltdown because it's just, I know how important this birthday was or is to him and how much I confidently took responsibility for all of the planning and how I've absolutely like shat the bed completely and it's my fault and there's nothing I can do. It's completely my fault. And I like to go eyeshadow underneath as well just a little bit a little smoky smoke and I'm really liking this brown so now I'm like in the fetal position with my laptop I hang up with my mom and I start just almost wanting to spiral but all this mindfulness journaling and uh and meditation stuff that I've been talking about in all my videos, it comes through in this moment because I think old me would have not wanted to confess the mistake that I made and would have tried to just on my own fix it without talking to anybody else. And that would have been much more stressful and I probably wouldn't have been able to fix it. And so it would have just been me wasting time, but just because I didn't want to admit my mistake. But new me, more evolved me realizes from my past experiences that this isn't the best course of action so I immediately reach out to my best friend Kim I reach out to Jeremy's one of Jeremy's best friends Jen and I just admit my complete failure that I know I've made a horrible mistake that I'm really upset because I also just needed to talk to somebody because I was very upset I was very emotional I felt absolutely so terrible and of course, both of those people really made me feel a lot better and also just started trying to help me. So they were both starting to call places and, and try and find a solution. And so then I already felt like, okay, I've got people trying to help. But then of course I had to wait for Jeremy to come home. I didn't want to tell him over the phone or like in a text message. So I just wanted, I waited until he was coming home. <laughs> and I literally was sitting on the bed looking out the window and saw him walking up to the house and it was just like <gasps> like I just I was so heartbroken to have to tell him that this had happened <laughs> it was like we've only been together it'll be two years in like a couple of months so we haven't even been together two years and this is by far my biggest f up I've ever made to anybody in my life let alone this relationship for to him so yeah, he just came home and I just confessed. I just said, I have made a huge mistake. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know why I thought that this would be fine, but clearly I did. And of course, being the kind soul that he is, he was just like, you've clearly been under a lot of stress. We've had so much going on in the past few weeks. I know that it just slipped your mind. Obviously, you would have made the reservation if you realized, you know, you needed to and that, you know, you fucked up, but it is what it is. So now let's just find a solution. And then he wanted to offer to help me call people and restaurants and things to try and find a new place. And this is the other thing. I think that looks pretty good. Um... I hate calling restaurants. I hate like having to deal with that kind of stuff. And that's why I was supposed to make this reservation via email. The restaurant even, the bar even accepts the, the, the reservation through email, but no. So anyways, now it's my worst nightmare and I have to start calling every place in Vancouver to try and find somewhere that will make a reservation for 15 plus people, which is a lot of people, but he has a lot of friends. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways, I felt really bad yesterday and I cried a lot and that's okay. You know, crying is fine. I needed to like let it out. This is just, this is eyebrow gel stuff specifically for eyebrows. I got in a really dark, dark brown. My eyebrow hairs are black, but if I did black, it would look 
like cartoonish but I like it I just kind of kind of combs I have long eyebrow hairs too so I just kind of comb them and then there we go so but I put my big curl panties on and I just started calling places and emailing places but then I had my two friends also doing the same and in contact with me and what I did next I think was also something that's reflecting the growth that I've had instead of being miserable and upset or feeling sorry for myself or just feeling completely guilty and beating myself up about the situation I decided to take a break most places weren't open yet it was around 2 p.m. on a Thursday so I was like I'm gonna wait a couple hours till all the restaurants and bars are open so I can call them and I'm gonna go have a hot bath and kind of just like regroup forgive myself for this error this mistake you know it happens shit happens people make mistakes I would forgive someone else for this mistake so I need to forgive myself which is really hard to forgive yourself when you screw up trust me I know I'm still mad about it or frustrated that this happened but I'm also able to laugh a little bit and forgive myself because you got to. So I had a bath, I took our dog Bruce to the dog park and that like made me feel a lot better and then I got, I felt re-energized and ready to like tackle this situation and try to find a solution. And at the end of the day we were able to work it out. So. There were a few solutions at the end of the day, which is nice. And I like to fill in little patches in my eyebrows, like my eyebrows don't grow like completely even. So I like to just, with a pencil, I just draw them in a bit. And then I also really like this little spoolie guy. And then I can come, I have so much eyebrow hair. It's a lot, I have to pluck my unibrow every single day. I think I've said that in a million videos. I also have to, pluck my mustache and facial hair and chin hairs and witch hairs and the occasional chest hair. Anyway, next up let's do, maybe I won't do eyeliner. Should I do eyeliner? If you hear the piano upstairs, there's a piano upstairs. I'm just gonna do mascara I used to do eyeliner a lot but as I'm finding as I get older I'm I have more of like a hooded eye like there's not a lot of space in here between my eyelid and then my upper eye and so that's it's kind of it's really challenging like, like when you look at videos on YouTube you have to consider if the person that's doing their makeup has a similar face shape to you has a similar eye shape to you a nose because if they don't then what they're doing is probably not gonna work for you so that's one thing I've realized and the liquid eyeliner it's just more stressful for me to try and do it and often I'm just not doing it the right way for my eye I think I have to kind of relearn how to do it now that my eyes have changed a little bit with age and they're getting a little you know there's a little more droopy in here it's what happens so anyways we did find a place now we're gonna go to on Saturday and it's totally fine 100% Jeremy the entire time is like all that matters is that I'm with all my friends and we'll find a place and it's gonna be great and that's what's happening so crisis averted so I'm just sharing this story because you know there's, there's different ways that it can be handled and one is that I could just continue to beat myself up for it and stayed in the fetal position and felt sorry for myself and for the situation and I don't know not ha like reached out to people and like f had that support because honestly it wasn't me who solved this problem it was Jeremy's friend Jen who solved the problem and found us somewhere and if I hadn't reached out to her immediately with the situation then I might not have a solution and I do and it's only Friday and we still have another day before the party and now I know we can go somewhere which is great and the other thing that I did was I completely admitted my mistake on the Facebook group. I just, I didn't make up any kind of story. I just said, I forgot to make reservations. I know I made this event a month ago. I put the location a month ago, but now we have a different location because I did not make reservations. <laughs> I don't know why. I can't tell you why. Other than it was just an epic fail on my part is what it is. Because also 
Admitting when you make mistakes and being vulnerable in that way and just letting people know the honest truth allows other people to feel less bad if they also make mistakes in the past or future in their lives because we're all human beings and we're going to make mistakes and the more we just readily accept and acknowledge like, oops, I slipped up. Oh, that wasn't the right thing to say. I shouldn't have done that thing. You know, I'll do better next time. I wasn't thinking when I said that. Like these kinds of admissions make it more just it's an encouraging environment for others to do the same and just be allowed to be human and not be perfect and make mistakes mistakes get made okay so I just, so I decided to I'm gonna put blush on I decided to put on my makeup anyways and while well, I did the story because honestly I just wanted to feel a little bit better about myself it's been very stressful and I've been kind of been staying in pajamas all week and just putting out, I feel like I've been putting out one fire after another and just focused a lot on things that aren't fun for me and just a little more stressful. So this was kind of fun and, and I do feel a little more put together even though it's just gonna be me at home tonight, Jeremy, and then Jeremy's friend Jen, my friend Jen, who's coming over. <sighs> And I'm also looking forward to how I can repay my friends for helping me out. And now to wrap it up, I just would say, I'm just going to put on like a nice sparkly gold lip thing, is that, um, like I said before, I would forgive someone else if they screwed up like this. Honestly, obviously, I said to my mom, which was kind of funny, I was like, if it was my birthday and I was told that the reservation wasn't made and my birthday party had to be canceled, I'd actually be relieved because <laughs> I wouldn't want to be doing anything for my birthday, but that's me. I'd be happy to stay home. But I'm just accepting that I made the mistake. My friends all supported me. My partner was very forgiving and it just shows me that this is how I can be towards them and how, like, how I can return this kind of level of friendship in the future that I can be there and supportive if whenever they call out and need help for something I am fully ready to be there and I know that I will be so that's why I can accept the help from them in the first place because I know in a heartbeat if it, the tables were turned I would be doing the same thing in return so I know sometimes it's hard to accept help from others when you're struggling with something but it's such a courageous and just authentic thing to do to reach out to others and allow your friends to be friends. Allow them to be there for you because people want to be there for each other and it feels good to help somebody out. And so sometimes you're the one who needs to be helped. Let people help you. Let people forgive you. Let people help you. Let people support you and just know confidently within yourself that you would do the same for them as well. Okay, so here's my finished look. And I think it looks pretty nice, you know? And that's it for now. So thank you so much for being here. Subscribe if you'd like or like this video. It does help me out. But most of all, I just enjoy making these videos every week and just talking and sharing and hoping that I can connect with you and just make you feel like a teensy bit better about yourself and your day and your life and like what's going on for you. So I'll see you guys in the next one.